Hello everyone and in this video we will be talking about how to model a 3D hub with use of parametric 3D modeling. So those who don't know what parametric 3D modeling is, the parametric 3D modeling is extensively used in the big 3 such as the Ford, GM and Chrysler. It's all about like modeling a 3D design or an assembly based on some independent parameters and dimensioning the sketches based on those independent variables and making the depths such as the extrusion extrusion of this and the slots and everything like base assigning the dimensions of this all this based on those independent parameters so here like we will be utilizing the equations such as the independent variable d and t and we will be like modeling all these uh, dimensions based on those independent variables so let's get started so click on the file turn on new so click on uh, there are three model sketch pops up when you click on new uh, the first one is the part assembly and drawing i think you are familiarized with it uh, with all these three part is you make the 3d model here and the assembly is you bring you you make a bunch of 3d models and bring all them together and assign some constraints and finally merge them together whereas the drawing you make an orthographic projection of the either the part or the assembly all right let's get started with the part click on ok so here you see that there are three different planes so the first one is the front plane and the top plane and the right plane so in this video i'll be doing my i'll be starting my sketch on the front plane so click on the circle another circle which is concentric concentric to the previous one okay i just make an exit from the sketch and now it's a time to send the parameters i go to tools and then to the equations and make a global variable d and assign a value of 10 mm and click on this row so that i can skip or i can go to the bottom go to the bottom of this row the new row and uh, click on t and i want this variable to be dependent of the other variable so d d over 2 like every time like whatever like you pick the value of t it will be half of this value okay that's good if you want to go on into another row i have to click on this icon on this row like on the t variable then it will take me to the the very next row at the bottom of this row okay click on okay and now let's go ahead back to the sketch click on edit sketch and now let's dimension this okay my dimension let's put it equal to d every time like you need to assign a parameter you have to press equal to now let's go to the global variable and click on t that's all uh, how about this let's assign this as 2d e equal to d and multiply it click on 2 i don't think you need to like every time you have to click on mm units you don't need to now let's extrude this so i'm taking like for this video for designing this hub i'm taking the material from a textbook called rs code me uh, so here like this is our flange which is quarter sectioned on one side so for the depth of the extrusion it's 1.5 times the t okay that's cool that's cool let's extrude this to 1.5 times the t perfect okay we did make our sketch on this face like uh, we started our sketch on this face so let's click on this face and make a sketch on this and for the normal tool there are two options either either you can click on the space bar and gets pops up with this eye this wonderful like display or you can click here and click on normal here okay 
so click here on this view and let's make our sketches I need to take make two different circle one is the one, one is this circle and the other circle ha I need to utilize this circle with the outer circle of this extruded bar so extruded cylinder so I can utilize I can make this circle with use of convert entities click on convert entities and now like you are able to utilize this uh, this circle on the cylinder okay so let's extrude this before that we, we need to dimension this this dimension has to be around like if I'm not wrong it's 40 perfect perfect let's extrude this but for but in this video like we, we don't need to extrude this uh, to the end of the like to end of the cylinder you just need to uh, make an extension to the cylinder so let's for the blind depth now here the t value comes into the play let's make it t so whatever our uh, inner whole slot diameter is the T will be half of it okay perfect now let's make our holes okay let's first before I assign the dimension let's make it let us let's assign a, a vertical relation to it click on two hold on control and click on two different points one at the center and the center of the hole click on vertical and the relationship is assigned now let's give a dimension so this has to be like it has to be 3d so center of the hole to center of hole is 3d so that would be half as it is a radius perfect and let's assign the dimension to this equal to t let's make it um, divide by three that will be great perfect and let's make an extrude cut so there are uh, different options such as the blind extrusion so now look it's okay to do a blind extrusion now what if you change the parameter like each and every parallel like whatever we assign like we, we did make some dimensions based on this single parameter of the whole slot small d so what if we change the parameter even the thickness gets changed and there are chances that the extrusion like the extrude cut may like may only gets extended to this point not to this point or me so in that case like we have to go to oh uh, to an option called up to surface option this is very much helpful it's very useful in parametric modeling so click on the surface and click on ok so now it's time to pattern or holes click on linear pattern which is on the features tab linear pattern circular pattern and for the in features and faces click on this face okay and for the axis click on this eye eyeball icon and click on view temporary axis now you can see the axis now I prefer three holes three holes is really good and make sure you click on equal spacing not an instance instance spacing which uh, like holes are very near to the our current hole in the equal spacing it aligns at equal spacing so let's click on three as default okay now now our hub is ready so I'm having some problems with my mouse okay let's assign the material material click on material edit material sometimes it takes time 
So let's assign this material. So, yeah, it's a one zero one twenty in steel. Apply. Close. Now the material is assigned. Okay, let's go back to the view temporary axis and make it disable. And let's assign an appearance to this. Click on appearance. A plastic appearance, high glass, or a medium glass. I think let's go to the painted appearances. That will be great. Candy to the body. Yeah. So let me tell you one thing. The appearances. And now you have assigned some material and you got some appearance. What the appearance does? Does it change the material? No, not at all. It's like simply like you have uh, you have taken a steel bar and you have coated coated a red paint on it. That's what that's the job of the appearance. All right. Now our model is currently completely done. So let's get back to the equations and see what what exactly happened and what we did until now. Click on the equations. Right click manage equations. See now you can see like all the equations based on this two independent pair one independent and the dependable parameter. We, we created a lot these all equations the first one was dip, was dependent upon this and the second one was multiplied by the two and the third one was use of this dependent this uh, parameter and the third one was an equation an equation so what if I change this value what if I make it as 8 what will happen let's see I click on ok you see like the whole design has got changed so let's measure the dimensions now it's 8 mm how about this it was 4d uh, before like yeah yeah you always need to click the repeat option remember okay so so if it's 40 even after rebuilding uh, what like the 40 is still there the dimension has not got edited you can see it's the same 40 mm so so what's the what's like why is not getting edited so let's go back to the sketch and check it yeah now we can see the problem the 40 is like fixed it's not it's not like uh, dependent of the small parameter t so let's change this and take it as d and multiply this by 4 all right now it became like now it should be good click on rebuild and now it has got rebuilt it now the last final step to check all the dimensions 8 mm whereas this it's 16 and how about this 32 and the thickness thickness is also good as d is 8 mm where the thickness d will be like half of the time half of the small d that will be like 4 mm all right thank you so much for watching everyone and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you have any questions feel free to leave it below in the comments box thank you